So guys, now that we've got our tracker dialed in, now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna give you some basic information out here just standing on station four. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna set up, I'm gonna shoot a high house target here, and we're gonna try to do it as perfectly as we can. Let's take a look at the data, and we'll go from there. Ball. Let's wait for it. Great shot. So here what we'll see is when I set up here, have my hold point established correctly, got my eyes settled, I reacted to the target the correct way, got a good move, and the result was a great shot. Now if we go ahead and take a look at the tracker here, we'll see that the target was in the green, so we know that that is a very high percentage shot. It gives us the information that it's crossing left to right. Now in, in this particular case, shooting a high house on station four, uh, now what I'm going to do is <clears throat> I'm going to hit the, the, the blue screen here to show you the grid on and off just to kind of the grid kind of gives you an idea of foot by foot but when we're shooting out here in skeet we're not trying to get that perfect lead it's more about feel it's about setting up the correct way rotating the correct way and the gun speed is huge in skeet what we want is consistent gun speed from start to finish so the way we can check that out is we can hit our track button here and we'll see again how when I take my shots, it's a gradual ascension up to the target. So what you'll see is here, three, two, one, and then the trigger pull is they're pretty much all in line. I mean, they're within probably six inches of each other <clears throat> uh, as I was going across the field right at the end here. And what this simulates is that from the, the third position to the trigger point, my gun was always in front of the target pretty much the same distance. So that was a really good finish there. Now, and, and basically all I'm doing is going up towards the target at the end while continuing to match the speed of the target. Now, if I go to the shot details, it'll break it down, give you a little bit more information. But what I'm very interested in showing you is this simple panoramic view. When we look at the simple panoramic view, we see the crosshairs here at the starting point. We see the target coming out. And we see how the, the, the crosshairs were always in front of the target the whole way. Each step of the way, I was in front of that target in pretty much the same distance. That's a perfect sustained lead shot. That's what we're trying to do here in Skeet. So this is the example of what you should be striving for. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to show you some common mistakes that I see, how you can use this as a tool to fix those mistakes that way you're not just out here spinning your wheels. Now, I know some of you are already thinking, well, I've already got this other device out here that shows me a video of what happened. Yes, you do, but it doesn't give you the exact feedback right then and there, and it doesn't give you any pointers on how to fix the things. I'm more interested in getting to the, to the root of the problem and getting you to be a more consistent shooter. So, what we're gonna do next here is we're gonna show a demonstration of a very common thing of shooters in the beginning where the target comes out it's going to get past my gun i'm going to sweep it now the end result is still going to tell us that it's a good shot because i'm going to sweep through it and i'm going to hit it get to the point where i need to get but we're going to demonstrate that, that is not how you shoot consistently because the gun speed is not going the same as the target speed all right here we go swing through swing through swing through Paul. Oh. 